Today on Ham Radio Q&A, my selection of holiday gift ideas. They're guaranteed to please any ham, so please keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Well, so last week over the Thanksgiving holiday, my son was home from school, and while I was retrieving the mail, you know, I spotted a catalog and said, oh look, it's the Christmas wish book. Boy, did his eyes light up. And um, he wanted to see what I was talking about. Well, then I showed him the old ham radio outlet catalog, and his expression completely turned. Oh, that radio stuff. Well, you know, you get the idea. You know, sometimes it's hard to get your point across of maybe what you'd like for the holidays. Or maybe you need to shop for a ham and you have no idea what there, what would interest them. Well, never fear, this video is for you. Uh, I collected a, a variety of items from stocking stuffers to the big ticket items that would please just about any ham. Now, many of these items have appeared in uh, previous videos, so this is a nice recap of some of the things that I found really useful over the last year. So sit back, relax, you know, pour yourself a Tom and Jerry as I go through this year's holiday gift ideas for hams. Starting off the list, I have a few stocking stuffers that I found really handy. First off is Weaver Leather's throw bag uh, made by the Weaver Leather Company. This 12 ounce bag is filled with uh, steel shot and it has a nice, really a nice supple feel. Uh, it's just the right size and weight to get your line up into a tree about, you know, about 30 feet or so and it's perfect for hanging those wire antennas. Uh, you can use it with paracord or um, mason line if you want something super lightweight. Um, but you know, I'm gonna switch out to um, a more stretch resistant and lighter uh, Dyneema cord. Uh, it may not be cheap, but um, you're gonna get better throws and uh, less snags than, than you will with paracord. Now, both of these items are available on Amazon and links for everything I'm gonna to discuss today are in the video description below. Another stocking stuffer I find really handy are these RG8X jumpers. They're available in one foot and three foot lengths. Uh, this heavy duty 50 ohm coaxial cable is manufactured and assembled in the US by Cable Experts. I've been using Cable Experts cable for uh, many years and I find their, their cable to be um, you know, very durable and reliable. Uh, the, Connectors, connections are highly reliable. Uh, the shorter lengths, you know, are like these little three footers are perfect to use in the shack to hook up switches, meters, and tuners, while the longer uh, 25 foot runs are great to take out in the field uh, for your next uh, parks on the air activation. Now, I usually carry a couple of these uh, little um, uh, barrel connectors with me, so um, you can throw, you know, throw a handful of these into the stocking too. Super handy. Uh, for um, stringing line together for your HF portable work. And uh, if your ham radio friend hasn't bought new cable in, you know, maybe say 10 years or so, you know, then it's time to get them a nice fresh supply. When I bought my Yaesu FT891 transceiver, my intention was to use it in the field, but I also wanted to take care of it, so finding some suitable protection was paramount. Uh, the Domkey F34L 19 inch protective wrap is made of a padded knit fabric and it's also got a non um, scratch nylon backing. Uh, this 19 inch wrap is perfect for smaller HF transceivers like the FT891 or um, you could use it to wrap a VHF UHF uh, mobile radio if you plan to take that out into the field. The wraps also work great for cameras, lenses, other electronic devices. There, uh, there may be similar wraps on the market, but the Domkey products are proudly made in the USA, so you know this is gonna be a quality item. And they really are. I've got a Domkey camera bag, a canvas camera bag that I've used for about 30 years now, and it still works great. A good multimeter is really handy, both in the shack and in the field. And a meter is also really helpful, you know, for those household repairs. One meter I like is this Mertec, it's the MK6 uh, digital clamp multimeter with um, non-contact uh, voltage detect. This auto ranging meter will test um, AC-DC voltage, AC-DC current, uh, plus uh, frequency duty cycle, capacitance, and resistance. And the clamp sensor is also capable of detecting both AC and DC currents. Well, I admit it's no fluke, uh, but it's reasonably good and accurate, and it's perfect for simple testing, diagnosing, and also repairs. 
At a retail price of under $30, it does the job and it's cheap enough that I can keep an extra one in my toolkit. Every year for my holiday gift list, I like to pick out at least one book from the ARRL. You know, if you want to build a library of resources on amateur radio, you know, the League's books are a solid foundation. In the past, I've, I've recommended the ARRL's handbook, but this year I'm going to give a nod to the updated and expanded antenna book. The 24th edition, released in 2019, is a fundamental guide of covering antenna theory, design, and construction, along with practical treatments and projects. You may never build your own antenna, but the information can and it will give you the knowledge and understanding of how antennas work. The newest edition also comes two ways, as a limited edition four volume box set with that hard slipcase, or as a 1024 page soft cover covered tome. Either way, you know, this, this guide is going to really amp up your antenna game. A couple of amateur radio groups that I participate with throw some really nice holiday parties. And you know what, our local club had their um, holiday party just the other day, and the highlight of the event is their white elephant gift exchange. I mean, the only rules are, you know, the more obscure and fun the gift, the better, and also the gift really can't cost anything, so the cheaper the better. I received this lovely box uh, emblazoned with the word radio, and um, you know it's going to be a, a high quality item. So when I opened it, you know, uh, sure enough, it was a radio branded water bottle. Yeah, I'm sure this will keep me warm on those um, cold nights in the shack. All I can say is thank you to Tony. You know, you really know how to spot those oddball items. Let's move on to some bigger ticket items. So we looked at quite a few antennas over the last year, and I do have a couple of favorites. Of course, the Wolf River Coils uh, Silver Bullet 1000 was in last year's holiday gift guide, and I do recommend it, so you can all certainly check out that video. But one antenna I think makes perfect gift uh, this, this season is Chameleon's MCOM2 uh, wire antenna. Basically, the MCOM2 is the wire components that you'd find in the pricier MPAS system, but without the vertical elements. So uh, with the MCOM2, you can run it as an NFED uh, antenna or an inverted L or even inverted V or off-center fed dipole. All this versatility at a fraction of the price of their more complete MPAS. Uh, plus, you know, it packs up super small and um, makes it uh, easy to throw into your portable kit. You know, Joe and I have used this antenna with excellent results on a number of occasions. So, you know, it, it's gonna make an excellent gift for a ham that really enjoys some portable work. And my gift list wouldn't be complete if I didn't include at least uh, one radio. Now, this year's hottest rig is the handheld Yesu FT3DR. It's a dual band VHF UHF unit uh, with system fusion and APRS built in. Uh, the radio is an improvement to their long running FT2DR with an ergonomic form factor and a color touch screen. This handheld's perfect a companion uh, to your um, shack or vehicle if you've already got the amazing FTM400 XDR mobile unit. Holiday pricing is in the neighborhood of about $350, and uh, the nice thing is that it works with all of your um, FT2DR batteries and accessories. If you really want to delve into amateur radio electronics, then one piece of equipment you'll find a super useful is an oscilloscope. Over here on the channel, our resident electronics nut, uh, Joe, prefers the Rigel DS1054Z digital oscilloscope. This unit has uh, 50 megahertz of bandwidth, uh, four channels, and really it's the preferred unit for schools, businesses, students, and hobbyists. It features an intuitive uh, user interface, so even the O-Scope newcomer will get running with it quickly. You know, plus the large seven inch color display has a resolution of 800 by 400 pixels, so it's easy to view all of the channels on the single screen. As we near the end of the holiday gift ideas, there is one more big ticket item that I just have to mention. No list would be complete without an over the top, um, want it all type of, of thing. And this year it's the TC Teardrops camping trailer. Yes, you've seen this trailer featured in a few of my videos and it really it's the perfect accessory uh, for the ham looking to get away uh, for portable radio adventures. The TC Teardrop trailer sleeps too comfortably on the queen size bed inside and um, pop open the, uh, the hatch in the back for a handy galley kitchen. Perfect for on and off road use. The trailer can be outfit outfitted with any number of accessories and we'll follow you wherever you adventures take you. And some, you know, add some solar, additional storage up front and um, you're gonna be totally self-contained. 
You know, when we bought our trailer, the first thing I said was, hey, no more sleeping in my car at field day. And that's totally the case. What I like about TC Teardrops is that it's light enough that it can be pulled with a four-cylinder vehicle, like my Subaru Outback. Plus, um, they're custom built in my hometown here in Wausau, Wisconsin. Models range in price starting at about $5,000. Finally, I'd be totally remiss if I didn't mention my own stuff. Uh, KB9 VBR uh, J-Pole antenna you know, makes a perfect stocking stuffer for your favorite ham. Uh, if you're new to ham radio, this would be the perfect first antenna for VHF, UHF. If, if the amateur radio hobby is old hat for you, then one of these antennas makes a perfect backup or um, as a field antenna. You can even put one in your attic to um, hide it from the homeowners association or protect yourself um, so you can stay on the air during a thunderstorm. I make in, these antennas um, in VHF and UHF frequencies, uh, six meters all the way up to uh, 70 centimeters. This one I'm holding here, this is my um, 1.25 meter or uh, the 222 megahertz band antenna, a very popular model. So uh, check those out at my website at uh, www.jpole-antenna.com. Well, there you have it. Some of my favorite holiday items uh, from the last year rolled up into a holiday gift guide for your ham favorite ham radio operator. All of these gifts will make amateur radio hobby more enjoyable and hopefully spur you to try new things. Uh, links for these items mentioned can be found in the video description below. And also, do you have anything on your um, holiday wish list uh, that I may not have covered? You know, please feel free to leave it in the comments below and we'll continue the conversation down there and um, add to the list of holiday gift items for hams. For more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpole-antenna.com. Like I always say, your support of this channel drives the production of future videos, so there's a few things you can always do for me. Uh, number one, if you like this video, give me that big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Check out some of the other videos that might be suggested alongside here. And if you haven't already done so and you've watched this far, you hit that subscribe button right now. Uh, pressing subscribe will notify you when future videos are released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9 VBR. Have a great day and 73.